Hi guys, if you are using SQL to store data from the project, Super Project Team has to enter quite a lot of data from the customer. But unfortunately, a member of the team mistakenly deletes all of the data that the team has to enter in the past one week. So the team has to re-enter the data at this point. So it will take a lot of double time and effort. In order to minimize the data loss, as well as extra the effort to re-enter data for the customer. So today in this video, I will show you how to create the data backup for AppQL server automatically to minimize data loss and effort to recover for the next period. Okay, so now let's get started. Open the Windows Server and window run. You type in the services.msc. In the list of services, you scroll it down to find the HPL Server version service. By default, it will be disabled. And you can see the description for more detail. Go to the startup time and you select the option the automatic. Click on apply button and then click on start button to start the service. Okay. So now the service is running. You will have to click on OK button to close the dialog. Open the SQL server management tool from the startup button. Access into the server. In the object explorer. You see that we have a SQL Server Urgent service is running. After we start the service in the service.nfc show, this SQL Server Urgent has been running. And click on the database folder. You see in the database on this server, we have a lot of database. So I will go ahead to do the backup for some database here. Open the C drive and then I will create a folder here. I want to set the backup file into this folder. Open it up and back to the SQL Server Management Studio tool. You open the management folder. Inside the management folder, you right click on the maintenance plan and select the maintenance plan wizard option. Provide the name for this one, the automate backup, and enter the depression for more detail here. Left everything by default, and then click on next button to go to the next step. On this step, you select the option to backup database in the food mode. Next, next, in the define backup database food task. In the general tab, I will select the option, select one or more database. You can scroll it down here and pick up the database you want to be picked up. You can select multiple database to perform the backup by just checking on the checkbox and click on OK button after you select all of the database you want to be picked up. In the destination tab, you can change the location to set the database file. I mean, set the database backup file. You go ahead to select the My Database Backup folder. We have that created before. Click on OK button. And the backup file extension. By default, it will save it into the BAK file. And for the option, in the option here, I will leave it by default. This one is the writing a report after you perform the execution to back up the file. And you can change the folder location to save the log file. I will also select it into my database backup folder. Close it. And you click on SQL Server version and in the Zoff, it has the greatest automated backup database subplan automatically by on the maintain plans. Double click on the automate backup database. 
and if we open up a window where you can see the detail of automate backup database plan we have the name the description the sub plan schedule so now the schedule is not uh, active we need to click on the icon here to open up a new job schedule by default i will keep the name of the automate backup database sub plan underscore one yeah and as the schedule type it will be recurring yeah for the frequency you can back up it by the weekly daily or monthly i will change the occur to the daily after that click on ok button to perform the action if you want to do something edit, you can double click on the plan change the database name you want to be backup the destination and then other option and then you save it up by click on the save icon from the menu you open the my database backup folder for now it is blank we don't have any file inside this folder come back to the sequence server management studio tool you can right click on the automate backup database and select the execute maintenance plan by select this option so it will immediately uh, trigger the result to perform the backup action if you don't trigger this uh, manually so it will run in by schedule you open the folder and for now you can see we have the three file have been created because we are by just the two database and the tick file here is the look after we perform the backup successfully and then i will try to delete the file here back to the sql server and execute it again yeah success back to the folder and then you can see the backup file and the log file have been added here okay so i think that's all for today and after you finish this video you know how to do some the setting for auto backup to database thank you for watching bye bye